Hi, Miss Itsuno, how are you? Uh -huh -huh. Hello, guys. Hi, Baba Tunde. Hi. Uh, okay, Miss Itsuno. Please help us, help us to share this live, okay? Before we can bring in our guests, 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 guests. Hey, Kelechi, how are you? Thank you for joining. So guys, please let's share this live because this topic for today is going to be hot, hot. Like we are going to be hearing from the horse's mouth. Like it's going to be hot, hot, hot. Hi, God's time. How are you? Keep on sharing the live, guys. One of our guests is already waiting. And let's see. You know, we have a man and a woman. The woman is already waiting, but the man... I don't know whether the man is still preparing, whether he's still making up. We cannot tell. This one is not. No, here, right now. We are here, not on the YouTube. Here, here, here. So, guys, you all are welcome. You know what uh, the program is all about today. Okay, the topic for today, Kalishi's asking, yeah. When is it the right time to let go of a toxic relationship? Okay, that's what we're going to be talking about today. And um, why I love this topic, or why I'll say that this topic is going to be very interesting, is because this, 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 this the talk won't be coming from people that have not, um, that are just uh, maybe novice on the system or something like that. It's coming from the people that have actually passed through that yeah well one of them is sitting just here looking at you but uh, it's not going to be my talk today it's going to be the talk of our guests one of our guests has gone through that and the other one said he knows somebody that have gone through that and how she what she went through this is coming from a guy not i i purposely make it to be a guy hey god i'm calling them guy this one is guy i purposely make it to be a man and a woman so it shouldn't be like it's a, it's a woman thing okay so we hear from the man we hear from the woman as well so and i believe i believe definitely it will help a whole lot of people especially those ones that that, that are not they are into that now but they are not even seeing that red flag they're not seeing it it's still like it's still like doing them like a movie looking like a lecturer this evening the glasses <laughs> <God's time. laughs> also see my glasses most of you that knows me That knows me from the big um this page the first time. You know, I'm always hearing this each time I want to go for an each time I want to do an interview here. So I'm always on it. As a matter of fact, it happens to be my my identity. My identity. Glasses is from the but what's but what's the when did you join the page? <laughs> I always wait. <laughs> I always wait. <laughs> okay, yeah, God's time knows. God's, God's time knows, yeah. So that is what the topic is all about today. Um, we'll be hearing from them. Let me okay, the, the lady is here. Let me bring her in and then why wait for the man now? 
right first account is in my custody hi hello hello okay. how are you doing good evening from arab emirates good evening it's evening here mr desam if you can hear me please can you switch on to video so we can see you yeah i'm on to video but i'm a bit struggling with my camera to press the tone oh my god we can see from outside i mean probably that's the back one thank you gus time <laughs> thank you so much I hope the network won't disturb us again today. Please, guys, help to share this live, okay? Fidelis. Fidelis, which can you see me? Like? Yeah, yeah, we can see you. Ah. Are you from Arab Emirates, too? Because you're dressed uh, like that. I'm from Arab Emirates. You look like you're from Arab Emirates. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. okay. Wonderful. So, guys, you all are welcome to this live today, and thank you so much for honoring this invitation. It's not easy. It's not easy. Thank you so much. We we'll start from intro. This is ourselves. So let's start from it. They say ladies first, Abby. Yeah. Ladies first. <laughs> even even though it's not ladies first, I'm still in the middle, so you can't jump me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right, it's, so guys, uh, welcome to today. Hello, uh, guys. Welcome so to this, our hot topic today. <laughs> I am Eugene. I am an Igbo lady residing in United Arab Emirates. As you can see here, I have a page, Oshtonia's family. You see, wow. UD. <laughs> so, over to you, bro. Okay, good evening, this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm so privileged to be here. Thank you, Nikki, for bringing me here. Though I cannot see you, ladies, I'm trying to set my camera well. And I'm in Nigeria. My name is Disam. I'm somebody that is gifted by God, blessed by God. I'm most talented. Every gift I have, none of them is my own. I didn't go for training for anything and so on. And I'm so excited to be on Nikki's platform this evening. And you are very much welcome. So, but you didn't, which you didn't tell us those gifts that you have. What gifts is that? Is it gifts of uh, beating a woman or gifts of beating a woman? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just say gifts, man. Right? Don't tell us which gifts. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 For your life, bro. <laughs> See, the, the, the truth about, should I talk in Arabic way or should I, I should talk normal? Uh, Arabic, which one is Arabic way? Please talk normal. Let's understand. Okay. <laughs> Okay, the gift that I have is a gift that God gave to me. It's not a gift to beat women, but it's the gift to take care of a woman, to love a woman the way the woman is. Which one is Arabic again? Arabic. I don't change that. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, it's a gift to. <laughs> it's a gift to take care of a woman, Abi. And to to yeah, yeah. Very well. That's a very wonderful gift. So, um, I think our network is really disturbing. What is going on today? Yeah, it's 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 it's. Uh, I don't know if it's from me, but I don't think. I tried to type a message now, and they're telling me, guys. Hope you all can hear us very well. It's breaking. I don't know why it's like this. I will try. Let me try something. This is this is no the network is perfectly good here. Okay, can you say that the network is good on this side? So I don't know. I, I tried to type something. They're telling me error. So okay, she says she can hear. Me. Okay, I'm Gustav can hear me. All right, as so they can hear us. All right, we just um, are you still struggling this time? I'm trying to see a way I can turn it back. Like, uh... okay, so that I can face you, yeah? Yeah, so that I can be able to see and express myself better. Oh, I see. It's not from and your it's not showing here. It should be from your phone. 
Maybe I have to go out and log in back again. Okay, just try that then. While we go ahead. Okay, okay, I've gotten it. Uh, okay, you've gotten it now. Yeah, it's God bless now. you. Okay. Yes, God bless God bless you. God bless you, madam. I, I bring you you're greetings. Welcome. You're welcome. So God guys, you, um, <laughs> as you all know what our topic for today is, um how when to, when to let go of uh, a toxic mm. relationship. Mm -hmm. yeah? And uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that every one of us have experienced a toxic relationship. It's not all about it. when when you know sometimes when we talk about domestic violence, we always feel like Domestic violence is all, only when there is a physical fight there. You understand? Mm -hmm. Only when there is a physical thing there, yeah? Without knowing that there are a lot of things that actually um, comprise of those things, yeah? So, I don't know. I have experienced in my own way. Oshtonia, Tonia, <laughs> she has experienced in her own way. I don't know about this, um, he's a guy, <laughs> so I don't know if he has experienced in his own way. So, but I believe you might have come across someone that have experienced it, okay? So that's why we, um, that's why I'm happy that whatever we're going to see here today is more like of experience. <laughs> Send this on because mm -hmm. that so whatever we're gonna be discussing here is more love is more is more like an experience thing that we've, we've yeah. actually gone through and then to let people out there to know when when so actually, it's time to actually let go. Yeah. I know I know sometimes it's very very difficult to let go. I know sometimes it's very like when you think about a lot of things like this, this and that, you put one thing and all that together, but at the end of the day. You feel like even if I can't handle it, let me still manage or let me still do this thing. So our topic for today mm. will be ta will be tackling on those things because there are people that have fought this fight and they actually some of them they won, some of them they didn't. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we'll have to start with um uh, Tonya, we have to start with her first to tell us. What are those things you need to see before you you can say, okay, enough is enough? Okay. Thank you so much for bringing me in. Thank you so, uh -huh. so, so, so much. Nikki Dai Gruba. <laughs> die yet, <laughs> you never did die. You. <laughs> okay, my darling. Eh? Um, from my experience, because whatever I'm saying, I'm saying out of experience. It's not that mm. I I hear say or um, I should tell you to go to the throne on me. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am telling you out of experience because this thing we are talking about today happens every day by day in our lives. Even as we are talking now, somebody is going through this. Exactly. And she decides to keep quiet. <laughs> not just uh, well, like us natural owns because she's uh, a, 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 a should I say a public figure everybody now happens to know it happens to come outside <laughs> happens to see what's going on somebody should mute his mic or her mic uh, so okay. with all these things that is happening we can only stress it we can only hear because now uh, um, it's a jet age a computer age Everybody can video easily. This one jump fence, uh, like that woman that jumped fence from the husband house. The camera carry it. He doesn't know what that woman was going through in her home. There's a lot of things that goes through backgroundly you don't know. That is why you you that wears the shoe know where it pinches you more. Don't just sit down and listen to people what they will say. People will always say. Oh, even when you die, people will always say, ah, oh, um, mm, mm. so she decided to die on it. You better walk when it's choking. Like seriously, when you are in a toxic relationship, it doesn't really mean that someone will start beating you. There is a lot of things. You can go crazy. It's easy for you to go crazy. You, you can imagine when you are in a toxic relationship where, and Every day by day, you are being bullied by your spouse. Not just husband. Spouse. Friend. 
boyfriend. A relationship is a relationship. Whichever way, if you are a boyfriend and a girlfriend, when you see a man that is very, very toxic, it doesn't give you time. It bullies you in that relationship. Then why keep it? You are waiting for the time where God will say, hey, ma'am, she has changed. <laughs> or when he will say, I do. So when he say, I do, you will, change. He will not start changing. That is the most powerful problem we used to do. I have done it. I regretted it. And thank God I was saved. I moved on. Because when I saw mine, it was like, it, ah, it's going to change. Let me tell you, if you want to have a relationship, if you're having a relationship already, whatever that person is doing that time, especially men, you can never change them. Unless you have know that you can manage that particular person. And there's nothing like ma manage in, in, in marriage. Mm -hmm. Because it, it, you know the end to do. Thy kingdom come <laughs> forever and ever. <laughs> Amen. You are just there. So if you if you take the things that he does, if the good ones are better than the bad ones, if you can, con as in, communicate with this few, and be okay with it, that's fine. Because nobody is perfect. But if those ones that he's going as as in he's going against in your own side is more those things that you need most, no manager. In fact, you are not marrying a figure. You are marrying that man. What he has to give. You are marrying that man what he has here and not just the figure and not just the beauty and not just, then I made that mistake. I was thinking that when you marry him, now immediately he say, I do, he will change. At least he has seen you as a wife. He will adjust. Okay. I was seeing it this way. Ah, all I need is just to get married, be with a man, money, money, money. If he has money, I think money can solve everything. Money, no, they solve everything, though. Hey, I'm talking out of a serious money, no, they solve everything. I don't know who I'm talking to because most of you that are in toxic relationship, they beat you tomorrow, they buy your head nexus, they beat you next tomorrow, <laughs> they, they, you buy you. <laughs> they beat you next tomorrow, they take you to Dubai <laughs> on a on a on a form or on a tom. <laughs> okay, baby, 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 baby. Tomorrow, it's a, it's a. baby, it's okay. I will change because he himself will use the mat and tell you I will change. <laughs> I could remember vividly that was what my ex told me. He said, I entered, how do they speak it in English? I entered a thief uh, vehicle. That is not until I can have people go out and do it with my hand. That is it. And as he's saying that, he knows very well what he's doing. In any situation, he will tell you, even if they bring kindred, you are not going to get one thing out of this talk. Because he knows that he is going to use that money. You see that money where he used because of it here. Now that money they go use finish you. One thing with toxic relationship is that if you are blindfolded in it, maybe you are thinking of what people will say. Maybe it's even marriage and you have children in it. In your mind, huh, I don't know what they will say. My mother is a seed of people. First in the church. My father is a uh, second to Pope. Now in the carry Pope cloth, what would they say about me? Oh, my children. When you die, those children will move on. They will be perfectly fine. I've not seen a mother that dies. The children will stop where, from where they stopped. No, I have not seen it. Rather, they will grow very well. Even 
hope that man will, will put all his efforts and make sure that that children become somebody. They say, save your head first. Save your head first. Then, Azotana, Ewezobute. Save your head first. Hide. Balance. Then come out from with anything. You can take the bullet. As for those children, when you balance well, you can come out for those children. When you will gather themselves, you will not know. But first of all, save your head. Because most important thing is life. Those children need that head. Even when you are not there. If children grow wherever they are, they can find their mother. That is for sure. When the relationship is going too far. For instance, there are some people that know their husband is diabolical. You know that your life is not even safe. You decide to stay there. I, I've tried this. I decided to stay because of kids say, Omaka say, Omaka say. If you decide to stay there, just be ready that one day, that you see that fine house, that fine car, that day, the casket they will buy for you will be the most. Uh, in fact, uh, 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 this um, uh, uh, Stella, Obasanjo, her own might even be uh, taking part where your own day because they will make sure it's garnished. It's, as in, it's presented portably so that they will bury you in peace. You will just go and die of I remember very well that when mine was happening to me, I couldn't, which kind of marriage you said you cannot sleep in your home? You cannot close your eyes and sleep like a good, as in, if I bring my pictures when I was in that toxic marriage, you will see me, I'm very lean. Now, it's not that I'm eating something, you know, it may not be you, I they ask what I go do to come down. You know me that time, I was as slim as you are, isn't it? <laughs> I cannot close eyes and sleep. If cockroach go, I know. If so, which kind of marriage they want? <laughs> you are just every day afraid of your life. Maybe if they couldn't get you spiritually, they can strangle you. Yes, men does that. They strangle. You can never be as in dead is dead. I guess they will use uh, money to close my heart. Is there anything they does like that in Nigeria again? He will just use one pillow and just make you to sleep in peace because you have been a peace to him. Yes. In one way or the other, if you see a man that is very wicked inside him, you will know. If you see that man that can never have anybody that he respects and listens to, you will know. If you see this man that at any little thing you do, a boy can get He will just, as in, marking you toe to toe. Inside your own house, wow, you are just afraid. A marriage that you are marrying, that when you had your husband's horn on the gate, you and your children will just to your tent, oh Israel. <laughs> Yes, you disappear instantly. In fact, no noise. I cannot no play come. If there is anything that is not normal, everybody will start addressing it, dressing back. Daddy is back. Oh. If you see children, everybody, people that is downstairs <coughs> will run. Daddy is back, oh. linking it like toe, running upstairs, everywhere. Oh, yeah, start. And he will start from that down. Shouting till he reach that up. Isn't it too much for you to see that your own husband will gather your children to tell you that you are very wicked because they break table and you weren't there? Your, your own children will even be ashamed of telling you their mother because it's too much. 
You, they will just gather your children standing in front of you to tell you that you're a very useless woman. You're very foolish. You're a fool. What are you training that children for? Okay, tell me, you that is in that marriage, that he fought you in front of the children, he spits you. What are you telling that children? Are you think, do you think you are growing them to become notorious? Because whatever they are seeing, that's what they are going to become. If they are just used to it. And when they become it, they might even meet the people those ladies you are seeing outside there, so my, their eyes know they are here, here. They will meet the ones that will put them in the one place and lock them up, keep them. Because that's not life. And you don't intend to do give your children such life, impart such life in them. It's going to be dangerous, even to you. Because most of them grow up to beat you. Their daddy has been beating you so what's the difference if their daddy has been beating you and you accommodate it and you are so calm like i'm good i'm good i'm good it's okay it will be fine your first son grew and you told him something he will just push you one side beat you mercilessly haven't you been seeing it on social media where a son beats up a mother it's what he learned from the father. And the blood is learning there. So who is going to rescue you? Is that that father that has been beating you? That is going to talk sense into him? It's a national anthem now, so you don't need to be worried. You are used to it. They are used to it. So you just adjust and keep on enduring. If your name is Endurance. Mm. So that will be all for now. Okay, thank you so much for <laughs> for your talk. Like um, as you're talking, I'm just like um, it's more like remembering certain things. So, yeah, meditating, as I would say. So um, this um, um because somebody in the comment section said that yeah, it's not just women that men also go through the same thing in the hands of women, which I I would never say is a lie. It's it's very very true. So I'm happy we have a man in our midst here. So it's not a lie. It's not a lie. I don't know if he if he has um I wouldn't say had the experience because I know he's having a happy marriage. If he has um had someone that had experience before or something like that, but but, but, but Nikki, 99% uh, is women. 99%. Um I wouldn't say 99%. Do you know why I wouldn't say 99%? Because men uh it's very difficult for men to speak out you know it's because uh women we always we are very quick to speak out we are very quick to like say oh this is what is happening to us and all that but you will see a man going through hell in marriage you the man the man can't come out on social media and start saying something like this happened to me the best thing that person can do is just to maybe meet a friend i'm not speaking for men i'm just saying what i feel men does you understand they can just meet a friend and then talk to the friend, look at what is going on with me and things like that. You get that as why, well. like when they're going through those things, it's just between them and their friends. They talk to their friends. But, but you know, is it men, for them to quit? Yeah, is it men, 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 men quitting, it might be easy for them to quit. Depends on the kind of communication or the kind of um, relationship between them and their kids. You understand? Yeah. There are some men that also want to stay because of the kids. But when it gets too much, why I'm saying this is because I know I know how many men that have actually come to me to say what they are going through, which sometimes you feel like, wow, like wow. You'll, be, you'll be very shocked of what is going on. You understand? So it's more like they still want to stay because of the kids. But when it's too much, it's just like women, our own is that when it's too much, we think about a lot of things, especially when we are not financially stable, which is the fear of a lot of women today especially when they're not financially stable. You know, men can easily say, okay, it's too much already, I will leave. Because, and when they are living, they are living alone. They are living on, as in, they are just living on their own because they know that they can survive out there. When they go out there, they don't have any kids to start stressing them up. They don't have any anybody to start stressing them up. 
they can only think about those kids. They, they might be just um, it can it can actually affect them mentally, psychologically, or uh, otherwise. But the thing is that they can survive because there is no child there to drag them down. You understand? But why women own is very difficult. Is that when they are going, they always want to go with the kids. No woman wants to stay without their children. No woman, unless that person has mental problem, no woman wants to stay without their kids. So they find it very difficult to like say, okay. I want to leave at this point in time. But now they start thinking about a lot of things. Mm. How do I feed the kids? Especially those ones that are not doing anything. Especially those ones that doesn't have any source of income. They start thinking, how do I handle the kids? How do I take care of the kids? How, you know, a lot of house coming. And then at the end of the day, they just want to say, okay, let's just remain there. So I will leave uh, this on to... Okay. And, and then let's hear... Okay. 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 Um, thank you um, for the platform. Um, I, I, while the other lady was talking, she was she made a lot of sense, and I was just going through some things in my mind. And but one thing I want to be able to say is, marriage is not bondage. You understand, marriage is not bondage. You're not marrying somebody to enter into a prison. You see, a lot of people are prisoners in marriage. Marriage should be a point whereby you will be free to do whatever you want to do. Not like doing the wrong things, but doing the right things, helping each other grow. You see, one of the reasons why God designed marriage is because is when two people come together, they help light shine. It's just like you having one light in your house. When you bring the second light, the light will increase. The light will be brighter. You understand? But these days, instead of one light to be brighter, the other person starts killing the other person's light. Start fighting the other person's light. Not wanting the other person to shine. Not trying to do everything to bring. You see, one of the biggest mistakes a lot of women, most especially, make is marrying their enemy. I always tell most people, you might marry your enemy and you think your enemy is your friend. And that's why they call it friend enemy. A lot of people have married their friend enemy without knowing. You see, I, I have a friend and this girl is dating this guy. They are not married and they are yet to be married. They are not married. I'm sorry about the sound. Sorry about the noise. They are not married and they are yet to be married. But the truth here is, if you see the way the guy controls the girl, the guy will tell the girl, see that place, don't go again. Not like they are doing anything bad. Though. They are not married, though. They are not married. But the guy has started showing authority. You see, when a man is not married to you, first of all, and he started showing you different authority, different power, and so on, if that man marries you finally, you are finished. That's why a lot of women don't see it. Because you see, women still love. Women love more than men love. I'm being honest with you. If you got not like men does not love, men love. But when a woman loves you, she 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 loves everything about you. She can give you everything that she has. She can empty her account for you. But when a man loves you, there are things a man cannot do. A man cannot empty his account, all of them like that too. And they tell you because the man will visit her <laughs> twice. Yes, but women can give everything that they have. You see, women love with their hearts. Men love with their head. Women, they love with heart. Men, they love with head. If a man loves you, he can go to get plan B. Every man has a plan B. That's the truth. <laughs> it's true. Oh, it's my true. God. He, I, I'm, so, I'm so happy. I'm so happy a man is saying this. Like, guys, if you're not learning anything from here, I wonder why you're here. I am so happy. No, but, 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 but that's the truth. <laughs> that's the truth. You see, when a man loves you and you are his woman, don't forget, if he has sisters and his sisters are also making demand, he will not give you everything. He has to give his sister some. You understand? Because he has people that he also loves, two family members that he loves. So you see, one of the mistakes a lot of women make is not seeing the sign at the right time. Like, oh, this person is giving me um, authority. He's telling me, don't go here. Don't talk to this person. Stay away from this person. That's how to know a wrong marriage that you are entering. Because the moment the person starts telling you, see that person, two of us had misunderstanding. Don't greet him. When you see him pass, eh, just know that you will start keeping unhealthy enemies. And those people might be your destiny helpers. You understand? I've actually worked for somebody like um, the lady is very popular. It was, it would have been not us in that is learning. Her own is, le is, is, she's learning work. The lady would have been the one, it would have been the lady by this particular time raining all over. Because, sorry for the noise. It would have been the lady at this particular time. But what happened? I've been with this lady in the house. The husband will come back. The husband will with the government of River State. The husband will enter the house. You'll see the way the woman will be shaking. The woman will be shaking like she wants to ease herself. Like this. 
She want to eat herself. Not like anything. And imagine that the, the woman's phone will ring. The husband will just look at bad eye. This kind of eye. She will just shock. And see, I always tell women, don't call your husband daddy, you, except you marry a permit. Daddy Oga. <laughs> see, what I'm saying, this lady calls the man daddy. Yes, the man is older than him, but it looks somehow, it looks somehow to me. And the man started using the name because see, name works as a reflection. You understand? What you call a person might be their, their way of reacting to you. That's the truth. And this man, this lady was calling the husband daddy. The man was actually acting like a father to her. If this woman goes out, the man monitors, tell her, go and come back so time. The man started playing the role of a father instead of the role of a husband. You understand? There are so many men, too, who play the role of the girl's father instead of a role of their husband. I'm not saying that the man should not be caring. No. Then the second part I want to speak on is nobody was created to be bad. Nobody was created to be evil. You understand? I am not here to throw blame on our parents because our African parents did not teach us a lot of things. And one of those things that they did not teach us, there are so many things they did not teach us. They didn't teach us about sex. They tell you, oh, don't talk about sex. If you talk about sex, you're in problem. You understand? They didn't teach us about any... Some of the things I learned, I had to learn it from my friends, from my peers. You understand? Because why? They were shying away. They were hiding these things. In fact, I did not know how they used to bomb bikino. Honest, I don't know if person go have sex bomb bikino. <laughs> I did not know. Do you understand? I didn't know because they did not talk about all those things. Do you understand? So, and secondly, our parents never told us about divorce. See, let me tell you the truth. Before you go into marriage, I always tell people, have a plan B. If it doesn't work out the way I want, what do I do next? You see, the reason why we're talking about Osinachi today, because you know why? She wanted to be, see, one of the things God gave us is choice. She made her choice. She's not going to blame God. Because God might have given her a sign to move out. She'll say, oh God, this one, oh, you know, people will laugh me. You see, when the lady was talking, she was talking about what will people say. Let me tell you the truth. God did not create you and create people. In fact, even the same Bible says, do not follow the multitude in numbers. The Bible says, do not follow the multitude. But what happened in our society today? But people are following the multitude. What will people say? The people that you are thinking about what they are going to say don't care about you. They don't care. It, That's it. They don't care. They don't care. You owe nobody anything. You owe nobody any explanation. You see, God is not going to judge people. God is going to judge you. You see, that's the mistake a lot of people make. They tell you, oh, uh, if I go out to this marriage now, somebody will say this one. Somebody will say, what people say should not be your problem. You know why? People will not suffer your suffer. When you die, people will bury you and focus on other people. That's the truth. People does not talk, stop talking. If you win, people will talk. You fail, people will talk. You try to make it happen, people will still talk. In fact, when they kill you there, people will come and eat your rice. Let me tell you the truth. People are good at eating rice in Beria. That is why you see that any Beria that did not cook rice, people are not happy. Go to Beria that did not cook rice. You see the way people's face are. Then go to the ones that they cook rice. The moment they bury the person, in fact, even in that same Beria, they will start playing music. People will dance and dance you that is thinking about what people say. And you'll be wondering. You see, because we're living in a society whereby people are always reasoning what do people say instead of how do I feel? I used to have that mentality before when I started thinking of what would people say, what would people say? But I stopped, I was never prospering when I was thinking about what would people say because one of the easiest ways to prosper in your career, in anything that you're doing, even in times of relationship, is never to look at what will people say. Sometimes you must learn to mind your business. To those that are Christian on this platform, the Bible says, mind your business. You must learn to close your ears to what people say, because people are not in your shoes. People don't know the sleepless night that you're going through. People don't know the emotional trauma that you're suffering. People don't care to know. All people care to see is, ah, then they find out. And let me tell you the truth. It is not every couple that comes out on social media and posts their picture, and you say that they have a happy marriage. Sometimes some marriage are dying married. It's just surviving, surviving marriage on social media. And aside from that, it is not every couple that you see on Sunday morning who that are holding each other in their hands, and when they start holding, they start kissing each other in the public that are happily married. Some people are just pretending because of this what they call societal pressure. You see, the biggest way to deceive yourself is to think that people owe you anything. Nobody owes you any single thing. Nobody, not even your parents, not even your children. I remember if I lost my mother at the age of thirty-three. Now, when I lost my mother at the age of thirty-three. I always tell people that my mother died out of foolishness and choice. 
Sorry to say that she died out of foolishness and choice. This man, I lost my father in, I think, in 1990. And my mother was a young woman. Her friends started telling her, marry, marry, marry. You know, say, you see, but this is on fire. This woman was doing well. She was doing her business. So no man disturbed her. Finally, one man that had a family somewhere came to meet her and told her she's going to marry her and told her that uh, uh, he doesn't have a family, blah, blah, blah. You know, see, when men want to go to Stanford Bridge, in fact, even their family, they will, they will say their mother is a witch just because they want to enter into the Stanford Bridge. In fact, when a man wants to have, have access to you, he will condemn his wife. He will tell you that his wife was the one that was begging him for marriage. In fact, he will, he will keep the wife's story. That was how this man did to my mother. And this man told my mother that he's going to marry her and so on. Before you know, I didn't know what was happening because that time, like I said, nobody taught us that it was sweet that they used to lick. Finally, I didn't know that uncle was coming. Uncle will buy sweet and give to me. Me, I will take the sweet because we were little. I will take the sweet and, and lick. I did not know that they were actually licking my own mother's sweet. <laughs> not understanding how they would leave it. I didn't know that they were actually licking her own sweet. And that was how they licked her own sweet. She got pregnant. On the process of Getting her pregnant, a, a nine months time to deliver. Guess what? My mother lost the baby. She lost her life, and the man ran away. And only for the man to run away, that's when we discovered that this Delta man had a family, had grown up children. You understand? This lady have a choice, but because of people, you see, I always tell people things that when people are clapping for you, you must be very careful. When people are praising you, you must be very careful because there are people that will praise you to your death. There are people that will praise you to your downfall. There are people that will tell you, oh, we love you. We'll be there for you. Oh, don't worry. We'll be there. Let me tell you, nobody will be there for you. But you are the only person that can be there for yourself. Now, I will give the lady a chance so that then I will drop my third point. Okay. Um, wow. Wow. When I tell you guys today's topic is going to be hot, I wasn't joking. Because why I love this topic is because... Um, this is not just a talk of people that are just hearsay, hearsay. This is a talk from experience. Like you have seen, you have been there. Um, I don't need to also go into my own detail because most of you already knows my story, if I may say that way. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, to be fair, to be sincere, if anything happened to you where you're trying to patch it, where you're trying to make it work, where you're trying to see if it can work, or maybe you're scared of the society, or what would they say? What would the church say? What would the people out there say? What about my mom? And most especially when our mothers are alive and such, such thing is happening because a lot of ladies I've, I've come across with, yeah? The only thing they always complain about is their mom. Which is sometimes our mothers are sometimes they are we love our mothers so much, but sometimes I feel like they are also part of our problems in that case when it comes to that. But they are only trying to protect some things. They want to protect their own image, they want to um, um protect their kids as well, but not knowing that that protection they are protecting the kids is all about trying to put them in more danger. And you know what they usually do is all the threats they always bring when it comes to their kids. They might tell you, if you just like myself, I will talk out of experience. My mom, mom threatened me with high BP. She threatened me with death as well. She said, if anything happened to me today, it's, it's going to be on your head. If anything happened to me today, it's going to be on your head. I will have BP. In fact, I'm having BP already. I'm doing this one. I'm doing this one already. They now, uh, Nikki, things. Nikki, sorry, sorry, Nikki. Let me cut you there. Now, if you watch, nothing has happened to her. It's what they call emotional drama. <laughs> nothing happened to her. <laughs> right, right, she's fighting, she's fighting. The thing, is, the, the thing is this, yeah? When it was, when, when all this things was happening, when, when it was happening, yeah? Each time you, you try to call them on the phone, each time you call her on the phone, you know, she'll be sounding so down. What happened? Uh, I'm just coming from the hospital. They said that my BP is so high. This one, this one. This one. <laughs> you know, at, at, at a point, I was trying to, oh, let me consider her. Let me consider her. But you know what? Nikki, no. To... See, see, Nikki, Nikki, can I continue? Sorry. There's something called emotional blackmail. You yeah. understand? Emotional yeah. blackmail can yeah. come from any angle. It can come from a yeah. family member. It can come from the person that you're with. What she was trying to do to you without she knowing is what they call emotional blackmail. She wants to mm -hmm. have your sympathy, your self-pity. Well, she not. Well, I'm one 
body, I'm one person that I always do what is in my mind. If I did not finish, you are not starting. I must do that which I know that is right because everybody has conscience. I have True. conscience, you have yours. And no matter what is going on, if I cannot convince you, I have to bring you in to see a little. Because most of the times we are even the cause of our problem. We hide a lot. Kaben de Kualam, let my house not come out. As in, you hide to the extent that your own siblings will not understand what's going on with you. You keep hiding. Well, you're not safe. You're not okay. So, why would you be hiding when you know very well that one day the judgment day will come? Most of those hiding, let me come in there. Yeah. Most of those hiding, yeah depends on the kind of family you come from just like myself i will use myself as an example i'm from this kind of family that we are too churchy when it comes to going to church like my, my all my people are all ifac members as a matter of fact you can actually call me the black sheep of the family in as much as i am not but when it oh, comes okay. to being when it okay. comes to being a, when it comes to being a born again <laughs> yeah when you, when it comes to being born again when it comes to being born again born again like ginger sisters yeah, let them channel that prayer to I your am, husband head. let wait, them channel when it, it when, it, when it comes to all those things i am i am not as a matter of fact i am not like that i am not a, i am not a ginger sister i am not um a, a born again that you will see like this but all i know is that i have a clean heart Mm. I, have, I have a very pure heart. I have conscience. I have human sympathy. You understand? I'm not interested in going to flat um trade hair just for you to see me that I, I am uh, I'm not interested in taking off my earrings. I'm not interested in wearing big clothes just for you to see me as a born again or things like that. So okay, but before you say you want to open up to families, which I know they are the first people you can actually tell your issues, your problems, you understand, before even friends. But before you can open up to people like this, first of all, you should know the kind of family you came from. I don't know if you understand. Are they the type yeah. of family that when you tell them things? Are they the type of family that when you tell them things, they will tell you, hey, don't worry, God is there with you. Just continue praying. Um, 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 a lot of people, which is the, myself, no. myself, when I was going through every damn thing I was going through, I never opened up to them. Because wow. at the end of the day, I know what I'm going to, I know the answer I'll get. My mom, everything. my mom doesn't even need anybody to tell her, her, anything. her, own, her no my own mom has been there before she saw for herself but it would be shocking to you that when she got back home she met my sisters what she told them was that this what is happening or if they ask her how is the marriage going she'll say it's the same thing as every other person is going through wow it's the same thing that, that every everybody goes through in marriage so wow. for you to that it's Nikki, nothing Nikki. to them Nikki, Nikki, in, 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 let me come in here. In terms of, of yours with your mom in the past, um, what I feel that happened is when when somebody has is getting something from a particular person, eh, if you eat like <laughs> talk no. from that to tomorrow. No, my mom wasn't getting a dime from the no 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 no, it's not that. My mom wasn't even I would even tell you it was when I left that they started mm. benefiting from this person when i was there they weren't benefiting nothing this is they were fighting mm. their the fight was never for anything they are getting from there or anything they're benefiting from there the fight mm. Mm. was just for that image of their child is what would people say what would people yeah, say yeah yeah the, 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 the fight okay. is not all about it's not all about no but, they, but, they but do you know anything okay nikki do you know there are people when they want to abuse you they just look for a way to go close to your mom Somebody that is close to you that they know that you respect the loss, they will buy that, that person's that heart was, by gifts. That was exactly that was exactly what happened. That was exactly what happened. In as much as when the fight wasn't that much, yes, um, um they were doing it because they are Christians, they are um, um EFAC leaders. My brother is an EFAC leader, my mom, Jinji. In fact, everything about church is them. You understand? You don't want to hear them. You, 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 you don't want them to, to to go to church. And when they ask about let me tell you, your child, they will tell no you oh, how no longer. My my mother is no matter because my mom is a headmistress. Was because she's late now. Then, when she saw all these things, she was praying for me before. 
she was praying for me that I, I shouldn't enter into such a toxic marriage she did pass through. I saw my own with my two naked eyes for my mom's own part. She left and uh, my, my dad went after her, searching for her all through in the village, telling everybody that if you catch her, because he has money, if you catch her, I will give you something. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he told the mother that if you did not Ooh. present your, your girl, if you did not give her back to me, and if you people succeed in taking her away from me, I am going to make sure I make all of you miserable. As in, you can know when they use you as a bet. Mm -hmm. And my mom was so young. My mom married my, my, da uh, my dad just like as in she was 16. Can you imagine that? And my dad was like 35. You can imagine that. So you see how they just... <laughs> and then nobody says nothing because then olden days, you know, uh, if you see a, a land agent that is doing well, you know, in the village, he has it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. My father. Yeah, yeah. him, <laughs> you know, and in that old it's just like um in that olden days, they used to value one story building very well. Mm -hmm. If you see how he carried himself, if you see what's going on, oh my God. My mom was like, she would have left that time. And she has only just one child then. Okay, she continued in that marriage. And she suffered it till my dad dies. And this woman did not enjoy any atom of love at all. She passed through hell, and we saw it. We, the children, saw it with our eyes. And that is why, because I, I remember you said something like, "When you were going through your own, you were enduring, enduring, like before they have to drag you out." Which is the issue we are always having. You understand? When you see it happening, you see your mom enduring on that. You feel like it's a normal thing to do. So when it start happening to you, in your mind, you'll be like, "Ah, oh, during my mom's time, she was actually enduring it, so I can do the same." Without knowing, because, you know, during my own time, my, my mom was like, um, she started giving me instances. She even used herself as an example during her own time. I'm like, number one is that I wasn't born during your own time. Your life and mine can never be the same. And then she started calling names of. <laughs> she said, you want Nikki, to say something? Yeah. Nick, yeah, I want to say something. You see, one, one thing people fail to understand is a dad that went to visit John might not be pregnant. In Kechi that went to visit John might be pregnant. People differ. Differ. They don't understand it. Like, you know, you know, the question I always ask them is that, okay, when, when she started calling names of people that this person is there, if you see the, uh, she will use Akaja. If you know, if you are Igbo, if you're a real Igbo person, you know what is Akaja. 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 It, it should be like Imaudi Akaja. Imaudi Akaja. You know, you know the kind of treatment they're giving to that person that is there. She will call another person's name. I was like, those people are not me and they can never be me. As in, see, there are things people can see myself, myself. My mommy wanted to take me and run. My mom come for my uh, because intervention. She has gone through, because she has gone through that. Because, and... because this man, this man we are talking about, even push her out of his house. <laughs> He told her to leave. Either if I go to shop and come back, if your mommy did not leave, I will throw both of you out. Wow. And when when my mother wants to leave, he never gave him money for transport. I was in the step crying. Transport, Seriously? you cannot keep my mom. <laughs> the man we are talking about is a man that has everything. You see, ma, can I come in there, ma? Please, can I just come in, Nikki? Can I, can I speak yeah, on that okay. particular area? Yeah, yeah, the man, the man I'm talking about is someone that doesn't hear anything from anybody. Even Nje, Nje can come me ask him. Now we're working for our See, okay, let me, let me, let me come in there. Um, see, first of all, you didn't do wrong by marrying the man. You never did wrong. You see, sometimes God to take us through a journey of life. Life is a journey. And it's a journey whereby you have to learn. 
you have to educate other people. Sometimes you go through that journey so that you can be able to educate your, your children that will grow up, both the male, both the female, and you tell them, see, this is how to treat a woman. The mistake that your parents made is not like you are making it, but you are correcting other people. You see, life is a journey, and learning will never stop. Now, when a man, because most men, their money is their strength. Their money is their defense. Like the lady that I was exactly. working with, exactly. the money is the strength. Money he is not hearing what you are saying. What you are saying is passing like this. Is passing like this. If you check that man now, if he does not have money, he will listen to you. He will listen to you. Eh? <laughs> if you tell him, let's go like this, he will go. Let me tell you, you will never know a man. I always tell people, when you think a man loves you because he does not have money, check well. That man might not really love you. When you know that somebody loves you, is when they have money. When people have money, you will see their genuine love for you. And when that somebody it, hates what, you, what you, are saying, what you are saying is very, very true. Because when I want to man, I told you that is before he told me that that I, I entered one chance. Did you see me? <laughs> then, then he was coming up. He was coming up. We are to just build the home together. We were coming up, and he told me. He used to, to tell me that um, these people, the way this lady and this man was going through, because she did not born a boy. Now, wow, I can't do this to my family. But he did worse. He did worse than every other person. Now, and the reason can why... You, can, you imagine, can you imagine? I have to beg him that day. My mother was downstairs. What killed my mother was just heartbreak. She went to the village... And she went to my sister, my, my elder sister's house. I'm the only daughter last born. The lady that we took like an elder sister, she went to her house and said, I want to stay in your house for like one week so that I will ease the pains. It's in that process of saying a little bit to her that she died. And when I cried, did you know what this man told me? I, I stayed in my car because I'm riding Jeep. Of course, they will cover you up with so many things. I was inside my car. I just did like this to, to, to ease the pains. He now, he now called me on phone. What am I even saying? He was traveling to East. I said, let me go with you. My mom was on sick board. My mom six, six my for me. She asked me, my husband asked me, if oh, oh. I'm, the, I'm the doctor, what will I offer to her? <laughs> okay, now I sit back. He said, that's money that you used to go and see her. Use it to send for her. Did you know that this woman is sick? Only what he can send for her is that 5,000 I'm supposed to use to transport it. I didn't see this woman. After two days, this woman died. He him, himself is in that. Right. He did not go and see her. So he has, to, he has to call me on phone and ask me, why am I crying in the whole shop, in the field where everybody is? And people told him that your wife is like his. She's crying. Inside her mm, cow. Mm, mm. I didn't. Can you imagine? People can be busy, but you. I didn't I'm, cry inside my house. I'm just <laughs> Mama, please, can I come in here, please? It's, please. Just, it's just that my eyes is red. I was can I come in here, please, mother? My hearing. When I woke up, somebody knocked on my mirror, and he, that is a friend, a friend of his. I, he asked me, Are you okay? I said, Yes, I'm fine. Sorry. I kicked my car and I left. Did you know that the man called him? He told the man that the, the mother died. Is it why you be embarrassing him? That is this why my the, my wife will be embarrassing me. Can I speak here? Can I speak here? And, and, and if you tell me is do you know how much they used to carry uh, dead body from Lagos to to, to East? Mm. Mm. Because mm. she died barely one week, she left. And this woman the, lost her first son, which she came to me to ease up with the kids. You see, he, you see, he now threw her away. As he threw her away, he never gave her <sighs> transportation. And when this woman is downstairs, even born Vita for her sickness, he never give her. When this woman is mm. sick, I cannot take her to the hospital. I will use my name to put my mommy in the hospital. So that the doctor will say it's your wife that came for the hospital. We hide to take her to hospital, even though she's in my house. 
if I see drugs inside his fridge and take it and, and, and give to my mom to take, I will defend my mom that I'm the one that take the medicine. If you see where this man is, bring me. Eh, you are very wicked. You are very selfish. You think I will die before you. I will never die. I will live even eight something years. Go and ask my ancestors. We used to last. You think I will die so soon. You want to be fresh and young. That is why you went and take my drugs. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's some let's hear. Let's hear. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you know, you know, see. When she was talking, I was hearing so many things. When she was talking, one of the things I was hearing is there are people, don't marry your personal Lord and Savior. Marry your friend. You see, a lot of people are in this category whereby they marry their personal Lord and Savior. When, what, what do I mean by personal Lord and Savior? Personal Lord and Savior, the man is feeling that without you, he cannot, you cannot do anything. But, but this, that is, this type of people will not allow you to do anything, so you can't lay your hands on anything. So you now, cannot be powerful. You now, always defend. Now, the reason, the reason why this particular people, they will not want you to do anything is because, see, it is not, see, nobody is in time. When they are, you can do anything. We have social media right now. We have social media is available at our disposal. You don't need to go to the office before you go to work. You can stay in your house and do what you want to do without anybody knowing. And let Sometimes when you, I'm holding my phone... What if your, this your phone is being seized? Did you know how many times they seized my phone? Ah, no, no, Did you no, know no. No. You think see, it's not possible? See, that's what, they call, that's what they call personal Lord and Savior. Right now, <laughs> see, there's something a lot of men fail to understand. See, <laughs> he wants to show you that. He wants to show you that he's the head. Like, okay, yeah. is this type is this type of person that when you are watching television, he will just specifically come back? Is that thing that those cast boys he has yeah. is supposed to do for him? They did not do it, and he will come back to meet a pregnant wife, maybe done with the chores with the children. He will just come inside your room and carry down your television and break it. Okay, can I can I can I come here? Can I can I can I speak can I speak on that? Can I can I come here, please? It's very important. You see, sometimes then people don't act based on how you want them to act. Sometimes it might not be physical, sometimes it might be mentally. You understand? Sometimes it can be emotionally. You understand? A lot of times it's it's it, it boils down to different way. Sometimes it's more of the spiritual way. You understand? Because let me tell you, one of the best ways to kill a person's career and their dream is through marriage. Marriage can kill your dreams. Marriage can kill your destiny. Marriage can make you fail. You understand? There are people who had good marriage, but they are failure. Even in the marriage. They had successful marriage, but they were once a failure. So you see, in that kind of person, there's something called narcissist. There are some people that they are just narcissists in their nature. You understand? Exactly. They see, they don't take responsibility exactly. of their action. They just feel, oh, I am always right. In fact, that kind of person to tell you I'm sorry, eh? if they tell you I'm sorry, it's very, hard. Eh? it's very hard. In fact, I'm sorry. I was talking to one man one day. The man told me that, oh boy, I cannot tell my wife I'm sorry. You. I said, how? He said, instead of him to tell his wife he's sorry, that he's so, he sees it as a, 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 like belittling himself. And I told him, I said, sister, exactly. the truth okay, here let is... Me just talk you. Let me talk you with this uh, point of yours now. There was a time that I, I was very sick. I'm supposed to take the kids to the uh, to school. Every morning I does that. I get the kids ready. I, I drove them to school and I come back and do my chores. I've, when I'm done with that, I'll just go my own lesson. So I'm sick now. Did you know that that morning, this man knows I'm sick and I'm taking blood, not just ordinary sick. I take blood. I go to the hospital. I don't sleep in the hospital because he asked me what am I doing there. <laughs> you understand? Uh -huh. So he went to uh, oh, even when oh. I'm sick, he will tell me that. So you, you yourself, you you waited for for this illness to consume my money before you will go to wow. hospital. As in consuming money is fifteen thousand. He will be like when the thing is like one thousand drugs, eight hundred drugs. You will know you you now nah, you want you want them to go and see fifteen thousand to write. You see now, okay. I will be in the hospital. I call this man on phone. I'm in the hospital. You say, and then am I a doctor? What will I do for you? 
Baby, I'm taking drip. I, 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 they are putting blood for me. They said I, I have a blood shortage. Uh -huh. I, I can't. If the person cannot treat it, to change hospital. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. is it in that in that category? In okay. that category. Okay. Let me. Okay. 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 Okay, baby, baby, my car broke down. He will just simply ask me, am I a mechanic? Why are you calling me? <laughs> I, was, I, I, I was on the road. I was driving with the kids. Oh with the kids. With the kids. Did you know what you will tell his friend? If I come back in the house, immediately I hung on the gate and they get the gates for me. If I come back, he will tell the friend, that I told you that women can never stop on the road. She will come back. So who are those people that helps me? That is what you need to ask yourself. You just need me to sort myself out anyhow. Tomorrow you will say I, I'm, I'm in the streets. Now, can I ask you one question, madam? Can I ask you one question? Just only one question. Only just one question, please. Okay. Um, what? In the past, while you were with this man, do you, was he putting your name to his properties? He, yeah. The day I suggested this, because I was still in my uh, OND, I studied in a uh, Lapsotech. The day I suggested it, did you know what he uttered immediately? Do you think I'm going to die very soon? I will never <laughs> die young. You will even die before me. You will Ooh, die before me. Oh my God. That's something about it. That is that that is that that is our plan B. Desam was talking about that men doesn't love with their heart; they love with their brain because they always okay. have the plan B. Okay, so okay. It, because you know if it's a woman, if it's a then, woman, even, and, that, and even those property you are looking at, he prefers to put his sisters and brothers on it. It was in, with wow. time that it was with, with time that one of his friends, that is a, a young guy that just finished law, started telling him the implications. So uh, at my back, he doesn't even want to come out openly. He has to go in his office and give me small share. Just uh, give me small percent. Okay, share the one, the other ones to his children. Then uh, remove his brother totally. Do you understand? Yes. It's at last, last, last. Okay, he still did not want to tell me about it though. If he buy land, mm. another person can find it for him. I don't know where mm. his property is. I don't know. Nikki, what Nikki. I never, I never Nikki, I, I, I feel. He said that what I know is to eat and shit. That's it. My certificate <laughs> is not that used for one day. He warned me of my If I go and get work and come back out of excitement, I will tell him how, how I, I, I passed the. Okay, so somebody, somebody asked here. Let, let, let's let uh, somebody asked here. He, she, he said, Is a question to you Was it that you never saw the red flag when you were dating him before the marriage? That is that mistake I said I does. That is that same mistake I said nobody should do. I was in the mind, having in the mind that he will change. He showed me every paper I need to see. Sorry, sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. Let me let me come in there, please. Wait, um, let me just, wait. Okay. I need to share that me message. When they told <laughs> me, when they, actually, when they actually told me that the person I'm going to marry, because it doesn't start, start from me. Oh. The person that left for the first time, I, I smiled. The person told me that they doesn't marry you. I should be careful. I went and tell him. He said, don't mind that idiot. After that, another person left, a co-wife a co left. Before I know it, the other one left. Before he reached me. And before he reached me, the co-wife told me that it will soon reach you because uh, your mother-in-law was pointing at you. <laughs> before I got married to this man, I saw everything, my brother. Even when I served him food, because he has a dislocation on his leg, then I was having him as I'm helping him. You understand? So I was like, I the anger is about the pains on the leg. So if I give him food and I waste any little time to get water, he will pour me the food. I thought he's maybe, he has not married me. I don't know why I turned to O. 
I thought it's because maybe of the leg, the pains. I will be asking him, why now? Why did you pour me food? What? You would have asked me to bring this water I forgot. And I, 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 I can always go. And I just dropped your food. <laughs> he will just throw that food. So actually, me. actually, this pouring of food happened even before the marriage. Even before the marriage. I was even the one that is cleaning his bum bum now, for that leg that he has injury on. Nikki, it, it, I, Nikki. I was the person that makes him to walk. I personally take care, took care of him. Do you know what he told me at the end of the day? The brothers told him to settle me that he should not marry me. He should settle me and leave me. So that I will settle me as an album boy. He should settle <laughs> me so that I will just go. Okay, when he insisted that, because he knows how he's doing me, and I kept oh saying, God. he now feels that this is the young that he can bully. He wants to marry, this is what he wants. Now, he, he now marries me to tell me that a lot of ladies would have done that. I said, I personally, they clean this dimpa, nyash. They carry his leg up and down. I mm -hmm. made him walk. Mm -hmm. I suffer so much. My own broad brother came back from Poland and put his back and carry him to the to hospital mm -hmm. where he used to do his leg. This is how all my family puts hand and be helping him until he walks. Even till mm -hmm. we have this particular issue that I left, a reverend father called him and said, I'm your brother. I grew up together with you. And I knew that something wasn't right, even in your home, in your family. Because that man have came several times in my home to dash me money, reverend father. He will dash me money and tell me to keep it to yourself. If you need any other thing, call me on phone. Because he has seen and he knows the family I'm married into. He's just a friend to them. And he has seen several times, in no, uh, as in all occasion, he has come to my house. Even meat, better meat, never there for him soup. Man, we get to place. Wow. Get out. Oh. Better meat, never there inside this. Even when the day they were talking about me, my brothers wants to take me. He said that I am, I am, I have longer, longer throat. They asked him why did he say I have longer throat? Did you buy? things and put in that uh, store. Yam that you used to buy, you use ruler to measure it for your wife. There's no better meat inside the fridge that is inside your store. Your store is very empty and you have children, you have boys, house boys, and you have boys water. Even in Domi, one carton is for children to go to school and they count it. So why will you not say that this woman has longer throat? What have you given her to eat? And the worst of it all is that I'm not managing. My family is a very rich family. We, as in all my compound is full of one, one story building. In Tarokin, as of that olden days, in Tarokin, the bathroom I bath is exactly the same thing you, 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 you put in the house you put me. So what's the difference? I don't understand it. I don't get it. And before I leave, what tempts me to leave? Because I wasn't seeing anything he does to me bad like that. I wave it every day. I wave it every day. I wave it every day. Even my friends used to come and mock my head. Obian, do wake up. Are you okay? Okay. At a point, it okay. had to get to my head that if I park my car, I will lose my sense. I don't know where I park. All right, let 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 this I'm coming a bit. Let this I'm coming in. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you so much, my for thank you. I respect you for being honest. My, you know, one of the problems we have in our society is people don't say the truth. People just make a new talk and maybe will not laugh at me. You understand? But you're saying this thing, and there's someone out there listening to you at the moment. The person might not be here today, the person might, be, might watch this video tomorrow, the person might see it next tomorrow, the person might see it one year time two years time, but your experience can actually guide them. Now, let me tell you, somebody was talking about red flag, green flag. Let me tell you the truth. Sometimes the green flag can actually change to red flag. Because you know why? 
People change at any time. You see, a person can be nice to you today, might not be nice to you tomorrow. You understand? So when somebody is saying, oh, the red flag, the green flag, there are so many green flags that when they got married to the person, they turned to red flag. And there were so many red flags that got changed when the person got married. It's just God that wants to change people and personal decision. You see, it is personal decision that changes people. It, you cannot change people. You cannot change a person. You see, it's not about green flag or red flag, uh, red flag. The truth here is people change. A person can change today from bad to become good. You understand? You might be thinking, oh, you have the green flag. Go and ask people. There are people who were enjoying their relationship, but the moment the person married them, it was a different thing entirely. In fact, they even regretted why they, they were wondering if they married another person or is it the person that they have knew, known? You understand? It's just like they married two different persons. You see, one of the things that changes people, I love you, I love you does not change people. Anybody can tell you I love you, but when they marry you, it is when you know the real person. Marriage makes you to know the real people. Because anybody who that love you when they are not married to you, let them marry to you first. Nikki, you see your story. Your story, they, they, they drink pop. We are my own day. I, I, if, I decide <laughs> to it, if, I do, if I decide to uproot it from where it started and the way... I, I said a senator saw me in Abuja and started crying for me. A woman... She sat me down. She said, oh, Are you telling me that this is part one or part two? Is it happening in real life? <laughs> now, now Nikki, I, Nikki, I think we need I, to do I, a part two of this particular program. I think we need to do a part two. I was like, I am so, so devastated. I, in, I don't know what to do. I shed tears also for myself because the woman started shedding tears. <laughs> if I talk about what happened to me, I shed tears. I don't like remembering it because which one will I talk? Which one? Where will I start? What I went through under 16 years of my life. 16 years of royalty. 16 good years. Mm. It's just God because it has gotten to the extent of death. To the extent that the last baby I gave birth to, they did not bury that child. That child died under an hour on my hand. I born this child around eight o'clock. No, as nothing, nothing, everything was fine. But before that, I was told, and that the battle was too much. Even a monster step into this, a monster everybody knows that reverend. I had this child under a day. This child died. Did you know that this man called me on phone and tell me not to tell anybody that I have a child? Oh. I was asking him, would they know that I have baby before? I was carrying Belen now. And then would have him out. He said I shouldn't tell anybody that I lost a child. And I shouldn't tell anybody that I even... I, I said, why would they... They would ask me, have you put him to bed? Mm. They did not bury that mm. child. What he told me is that... If the doctor cannot bury that child, he never see the child, he never set his eyes on the child. He said, if the doctor cannot bury that child, he should leave that child to smell him in that hospital. So I now asked him, is mm -hmm. this child do anything? He came to this world and I, as he said, and then if he cannot stay, he should go. Others, they are, they are not begging others to stay. If he does not stay, he should just go. Mm. Nikki, can we have a part two of this particular program? <laughs> my dear, sure. my sure. dear, up to today, I don't know where my child is being thrown to. Child I carried for nine months. Woo! Child, I, 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 I sleepless night, agony of a mother. I never knew where that child was. That is when I started to pick race. I learned for my life. And when I run to my brothers, everybody, they investigated and they said I should run. The only savior I will have, they said that the power that is taking over is too much. That the only place I will have a shelter is under TB Joshua. I ran to TB Joshua. I ran to TB Joshua. At the end of the day, the lady that took Sorry, me to the let me let me power my I let me power my that phone. That lady is having an affair with okay. my ex-husband. It's the same lady 
that took me to that uh, 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 TB Joshua. It's the same lady I told everything, all my agony, I cried to my own sister. It's the same kindred. It's the same lady that went at the back to betray me, to sell me off to him. He should be very careful of what he eats, that I am very out for my child that I lost. That I'm going to kill him. You see that holy water they gave us in that TV, Joshua? She went and tell him to avoid what she, he drinks. That I will pour it. They asked me to pour it in all the water in the house. The TB Joshua sticker, that one, he doesn't know about it. He has been searching. Because I never told that girl where I will put it. I placed it under his bed. He's restless. Did you know that? He built another mansion in first time and leave that house. Immediately I left. Because he doesn't know where the hotness is coming from. Did you see? And when they are talking about diabolical, this man is somebody that will stand one-on-one -on -one if I'm inside the bathroom and bathroom and I will be singing uh, uh, gospel music, if he opens the toilet immediately and I will like, he will ask me, where is your God? Why are you shaking? As in physical battle, at a point it comes to physical battle. If he passed me, he will start looking at me, looking at my shadow. If I turn immediately, he will start moving. I'll be asking him, what? We are not quarreling. Why are you watching my shadows? Why are you as in why are you looking at okay? My can shadow? I can I can I come here? Can yeah. I come here? You can. Um before we got to this point, before we got to this point, there was something I said. And if you can remember, I said sometimes some things are not physical, but some things are spiritual. You understand? Because you see, when a man starts ignoring his source, if indirectly in his source, sometimes the way he might treat you might not be how we intend to treat you. You understand? I'm not saying that he belongs from anywhere, but when you see, when you see somebody start fighting your God, it's either that thing that you are doing is either affecting his... You see, it's either the song that you are singing is actually affecting him. See, let me tell you the truth. Forgive me, I'm not saying that he is, please, with all due respect, but the truth here is... In our society today, eh, a lot of men, married men, are joining places to get money. This is what they tell you. Even my city here, yeah, plenty of people they join. Young, young boys now are joining. Desperate. Very desperate. Now, now, let me tell you, the first money that they'll give to you is 30 million naira. You understand? In fact, they don't tell me before. I tell the person, say, instead of I go join, I go do Yahoo. Because I would like to give my life for 30 million. What is that? <laughs> you understand? There's no purpose of joining. Do you understand? That money is too small. If you use that 30 million and buy one car, you don't finish. Yeah, it's true. If you give me somebody like some somebody like me, 30 million there, I will go to a place and buy all the land, and there will not be any money left again. You understand? Yes. So the 30 million there is too small. So sometimes some men Fidelis says something. Yes, Fidelis he said that love does not exist in his dictionary. Yes, he was faking it totally, just like you said. He told me personally that See, love they, is, is a dictionary. Thank you. Now, do you think he does not have love? He has love. But the truth is, you see, how do I, how do I, how do I even put this? You see, um, um, when somebody now feels that I own you, I own you, I'm the God of your life. In fact, I'm the one in charge of you. In fact, I am the, I, I can do without you. You see, I always tell people, no matter how important you are, they can do without you. They can survive without you. You understand? Even you saying, oh, eh, eh, this one, that, you know different things. You understand? And he is doing different things, thinking that, oh, you cannot succeed without him. Nobody holds the key of success for a person. Today, you are doing well. Today, you are alive. Today, you are strong. Today, you are healthy. Now, let me tell you, mark today's date. Mark today's date. This is a better platform. Um, I know that the man is still alive wherever he is, but mark today's date. Okay, mark today's date. I am not a prophet. Eh? You will tell Nikki back before this time next year. Eh? He will start calling you to apologize back. He will tell you that he's so sorry. 
If he's not doing it now. The person you are hearing now is Odogu. He said he doesn't split. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah. Leave it. Mm -hmm. Just watch and see. Mark today's date. Watch today's date. Hold today's date. He write it somewhere that I said it. He will call you and he will apologize and you will be surprised. Now, let me tell you, one of the mistakes people make is when people, because we're talking about how to let go, but we, are, we can actually tell people when we talk about how to let go, we, can, we need to guide people on letting go does not mean I must come back to you. I have forgiven you, but I've, I've gone away. I have forgiven you, but I'm not interested in staying. God knows I've forgiven you. Now, um, um, I, I, I want to go straight to the point because we are already spending like two hours already on this program. That's why I say we need part two of the program. Because, you know, Nikki, we have to consider people back home here in Nigeria. Most of them don't have unlimited data. Like me, I use unlimited in my house. If you want to have this show for that tomorrow with me, I'm, I'm available. <laughs> you can have it for that next year, I'm available. <laughs> but you need to consider the poor masses too. So uh, the truth here is, number one, you I make have your a choice. Question. I have a question. So round up, I have a very good, cool question. Uh -huh. And that question is very, as imperfect, the way he asked it. So, round up, bro. Okay, okay. Now, you see, um, the topic says when to let go. Number one, I want to tell people when to let go. You see, when to let, first of all, before you let go, you must make a decision. You see, one of the things that God respects in us is the ability to make our choice. You see, the old that we are talking about today, she made her choice to stay there. It is not like she never saw help. You understand, Nikki, but you cannot help a person that does not need help. See how you are looking so beautiful, smiling like that. Legend just snap. <laughs> <I'm not like> <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you see, emotional, I'm just smiling like that. Okay. So, 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 okay, as I'm saying, the Austin Achi everybody is talking about today, the Austin Achi made her choice. So, so God Nikki, did not come like, down. So, Nikki, you have seen that your own they, they suck breast. I never her come out. No, no, it's just sucking my breast. not sucking breast, though, because, it because cause breast. the thing is that I cannot, I cannot, I cannot go through, I cannot go through that kind of thing. Yes, yours have not even. No, I can't go through that. Like, I, can, I can't even allow myself to get to that stage. Okay. I can't even okay. let it because because to me, okay. even 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 when I left, I was even telling myself I I, st I overstayed. I am me, I am a warrior I because I, because I wanted it to work. From the I am first, a warrior. I, I never did that. Exactly what we always I do. Fought. Exactly what I we fought. always do. Yeah, we wanted it to work. You know, you, you know, you know, you know. When I came out, yeah, you know, when I came out, yeah, people were like, people were like, eh, eh, you, you don't want, you don't, you don't want to be there and all that, but you stay there and give birth to three children. Imagine, imagine that someone what, that I, if I always talk about. Yeah. Imagine someone that if I have accident on the road, he will call me on phone and ask me, "Have you spoiled my car?" Not to ask me. Are you dead? <laughs> what happened to you? So it's, it's, all, it's all about it's all about we waiting to see if it's going to work out or if it's not going okay, to work okay, out. Okay, okay, Nikki, Nikki, can we can we have a part two of this particular program? Please, can we just have a part two? Is it possible? These people are not complaining, though. If they start complaining, I know. I know my people. I know I know them. If they if okay, okay, okay. They do, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay 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 let me let me drop my point uh, when to let go first of all when to let go you don't just like uh, it's not just because oh the person did wrong today you just say oh i've let go i don't want to be in that relationship again That's or the person made okay. one mistake you say oh i need to do it again That's the person did like this you say oh i need to do it again when to let go is when you have tried everything that you can and you, know, and you know when they talk about second chance, they will know that you're giving that second chance already. They think you, second See, chance is only when you go and then you come back again. That is the second chance. Without any, you have given the second chance in there. Nikki, let me tell you. Sometimes the second chance is for you to go. Because is it a second chance? If you are coming back second chance, they will complete what they did not finish. Nikki, I, I have a question. Read it out. Let me tackle it. Then I will leave soon. Okay, I have okay. Is this from Fidelis? Fidelis say, what advice do you have for single who are in relationship or who plans on going into a relationship and what advice do you have for them, for those in toxic toxic relationships okay. and marriages? Okay, I must start from um, those in the toxic marriage already. Okay? 
those people that is in this particular toxic marriage, you you be blindfolded by so many things. Maybe the riches mm. of the man, maybe the children. If you live, you are going to survive. Know it today. If I survive, you will survive. I survive with a, nothing, a dime. Yes, your fear is you don't have money. Where do you start? Where? Yes, start from that scratch. If you may be better. Do you understand? If you know who you are, if you're a warrior, you can always stand. Just have faith in you first. In you, have faith. Me, myself, at a point, I went to the mirror. I look at myself very well. I say, how could I be a managing property to somebody? As beautiful as I am. And most of them think that when you live, for the fact you have a child, you have children, you will not get married again. It's a lie. Typical lie. It's the lie to tell you. Oh. So many men are out there. They need you. You, are, you have someone you are compatible with. You have... You have... True, true. Leave the marriage first and the other war, God will fight it. Yes, if your hands are clean, you have never done anything against that person. If you see how this universe will carry you even faster than what you can think. I left with nothing. Did you know what, what he did? He just gave me 3,000 to enter young shall grow. He said when I get to my village, he's going to send money on Monday. It's what he used to deceive my brothers, my sisters that took me. I went home. He told them on phone that you people should watch her very well. She cannot stay because I use car to even a shop. It, I use car around. But I'm a strong woman. The worst mm. mistake he was doing is that he doesn't know that this is not a baby you married anymore. And this woman is a strong woman. And when he was maltreating me in his house, he was build, busy building me up. Those maltreat he was giving me, I was ever ready that this will not continue. I was always at a lot that it will end one day. Those times you used to send me to Ladipo to go and look for my, 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 my boy joint. Those times I walk around Ladipo, I like Liberty Jeep, American spec. Those times I used to go around in all the mechanic, everybody knows me. Even his neighbor came back to ask him, why did you leave uh, this woman in the mechanic? He said, oh, Mama Akenetu. Yes, now. He has to go and repair his car. Is he not the one that is riding it? Hmm. The man told him, you are exposing your home. You have money. They respect you. Can that mechanic come to your shop to take this car, repair it for this woman and bring it back, let, him, let her go and pick the kids? He said everybody should live in their house. So he's sleeping in his house. Oh yeah, you, go down to Ladipo. Go and find it. I will go, uh, you, you people know how Ladipo is. With that oil on the ground, with that oil on the ground everywhere, dirty. I will be the one moving around with the mechanic. In fact, there is no car I ride I don't know how to repair. I repair by myself. If it's not on the road, now I know where to touch. <laughs> it's the way he grew me up. Mm -hmm. so, when I left his mm -hmm. house, I never have a second thought of not surviving because I, will, I have had it up to here. I am already ready to face the world. To take the bull by the horn and make a life out of me because he totally make me somebody else. If I'm Bobo we are those that carry first in the class, we are those that are an icon. But since I step in my foot into his house, I don't know what happened. I lost my memory. In fact, he typically makes me a zombie. Do you know zombie? Mm. I don't know my left from my right. 
I was using mentally. I was meant to understand that I'm not somebody. I can never stand on my own. I can never make it in life. Yeah, God forbid. Even when I was leaving his house, he told me that I can never make it without him. And when I left to the village, he said he's going to send me money by Monday. On that Monday, they called him on phone. Same answer he gave me 14 years back when he married me. He told me, Lord, doesn't exist in his decision. And I entered one chance. Same language uttered again. He has to tell them that I, 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 I hit hand in an empty trailer. Trailer that has sand. Yeah. Tiba, Tiba Buraja. Yeah, Tiba Buraja. <laughs> that, I, I entered one time that he, oh, give, that he will then not give me his hand and money. That this he, one, he, he don't need my car. Or he go rent yeah, that, that he is on punishment, not me. I have to stay in the village. He told them that they should just watch me live in the village. I will not stay in that village. Oh, that I cannot calm down. And he wants to turn me to that puppet. Maybe I will start going to Eke Market. You know Eke Market? Uh -huh. You will just find a teller that we, where you will learn how to do teller. And stay there yeah. and be waiting for him for his judgment. <laughs> then yeah. I knew that I can stand on my own. As in, in my account, in my account, I doesn't have 1,000 naira. I doesn't have 1,000 naira. I have to start from a scratch. I have to start from a scratch. I start to. I, I have that's more that. reason we have to. That is more reason we have to really repeat this because I need. I, we really need to get to that stage whereby uh, we need to tell people about these flimsy excuses of. Yeah. Where do I start from? I don't have anything I'm doing. I don't have anything. I don't have any money. No, have, you don't. You don't have. We need to, we, we, oh, we need to let Nikki, those people know. Nikki, Nikki, listen. Such people that are saying that thing is because you have not seen it all. There is a point of time it will come. You will stand by yourself by force, mm -hmm. and later you will ask yourself, "Am I the one standing?" Because you will stand more than you thought. <laughs> you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Just this evening, just this evening, actually, I was talking to a lady. Yeah, I was talking yeah. to her. She was, she was devastated. She was depressed. She was this one and that one because number one, yeah. is that she's with her kids and also some of the kids are with the husband and the husband is about to get married to another woman and all that you know she was yeah. like, if she died now he's going to die. i was like i wasn't there to pity her yeah because okay, okay you know when i was talking to her she was like sis you will not understand if you know i told her don't even tell me that i will not understand because if you tell well, me that i don't you. understand I, I i i myself when i was living you know these people they always believe that okay because you are abroad yes you can make it's not much no. better in abroad. That is not true. I, I am there was a time. Okay, let me give you an instance, Nikki. I am in the village. I started from the village. I started from the village and I went far. When I went to Canada, I called him on phone. He said, I should thank my stars that others that left their homes are in the village suffering. Mm. I should thank my stars. Where am I calling? Where, where are you calling me from? I said, what is on your phone? He said, Canada. I said, yes. He said, what do you gone there to do? Can you imagine this man? What did you go there to do? That I said, what are, they, what are they doing there? I went for study, of course. He said, okay. Not off, he said, how about the kids? I said, uh, they are fine. On my father. How is your mom? He caught call. Okay. Yeah. Now, this particular man is someone that has the mouth, the gods, to tell me that the people that left that particular time I left are suffering it. That some even died. So I should thank my stars. Did you see? Okay, that aside, coming in the aspect of people that wants to get married, I should say to ladies, ladies, please, ladies, did you know that that person that same man that doesn't give you a listening ear 
that doesn't value your happiness. That doesn't see if a man doesn't watch my face now. Nah, I won't be able to call. You know they talk anything again. Just go your way. May I go, go my way? Because feelings matters. I personally told my brothers. They said, no, you will not remarry. At least you have a boy. Can you call? Can you call? I told them, please, we keep that one aside. Will you live my life for me? I said, no. If I die today, is it the best? No. Okay, I should go and be gallivanting up and down. Okay? Become a prostitute. Then uh, I will be a good girl in front of you people. When I reach heaven, God will just give me a talk. Nem. Nguabatala. Nabata. Okay? And say, oh. I went to South Africa to visit them because I've been to 18 countries. My bro brothers are in South Africa doing very well. I went to visit them in South Africa. They will mm. leave me inside the room. While I'm watching the selling, they will be enjoying themselves and tell me to be a good girl. Don't marry. Don't. Uh, uh, just be a good girl. First, if you want a boyfriend, 100, get it for yourself. You still have a home there to go back. Go back where? Go back where? For, I, I now call them to sit them down. I talked to them. I told them, do you know what I lack in life? Mm. I have everything I wanted. God has beautified me with everything. I am very beautiful and tall and a very precious woman. I am a warrior and I know that. The best of my right. kind, I know that. You guys confirmed it also. Now, what is that I'm lacking? Can you find out? They said, no. You lack nothing. You have us. You drive any car you want. I said, that Love, is all. affection. I said, that is bullshit. Mm. What I lack is love. L-O-V-E. Love. I need to be pampered. I came to this world to be pampered. My species is Aquarius. We are very fragile. That is my own species. That is the type of person I am. You might be liking uh, uh, goggles. I will be liking phone iPhone 30, iPhone 12. Let's test. My test and your test is not the same. You can move on with your life anyhow you see it, but I don't move on with my life just like that because I lack love and I know what I lack. They said, so, with all this money, you, are, you have your Jeep, you travel to anywhere you want, so what else do you want? I say, I need a man that cares and loves me for who I am mm. and not what I am. They said, you want it? I said, yes. He says, you have it. Go there. Look for the man that is after your heart. I have to do it. Yes. I got it. I'm a product of gold. And I got everything that I ever dreamt of. And I'm contented. As you see me, I don't lack anything. Yes. You won't live your life and live mine. I say no, my cambosi be kanda malari ende. Mpa mose na gana nuogo before police there were puta. Yes, you cannot just totally shut down my life for a lunatic, a, a nonentity. My mom before she gave up, she she called me and answered that she said they did not write this man's name on your face. My daughter, they didn't write his name on your forehead. Before I can leave a man that you know he has everything. If you see the if you reason the estate he's living, if you see everything he has, anywhere he built house is his name on the street. He used my name on one of the streets, even before I can turn back on it. My brothers know that yes, you really know you are lacking something. You really want to make a move, and we will give you all the all the support. They did it for me. After wrong, wrong. After making them to understand. After sitting mm. them down so many times. After calling them meeting, always. After making them to understand, to convince them that this is what I lack and this is what I want. Because they say by your attitude, they will see it all, that you are not just Karedu. This is this woman and this is what she wants. And that we will give to her. They set me free that way. So for any lady that wants to get married, please, mm. if you know that thing that you cannot condone, those things that you hate so much, don't say because Peter has a jet. 
is using Range Rover Sports latest model. And he promised you, I'll be taking a kind of people badge out. So that people have one chance. So, yeah, <laughs> when us, you don't know, when that one chance. chance. Yes, on the pillow, they are saying, not never a monk, I'll go on a new bed. A lot of so call a bunk, I'll go on a new bed. A lot of that you will live your life to the fullest. If you don't know replay. If you know that it's money that you love so much in a man that if he doesn't have that money, you cannot stay. Madam, find a man that has money and leave what is inside him. Leave whatever that he has inside him to be for him because you can't have it all. They said you can never eat your cake and have it. If you are searching for the, the man after your heart, search very well, you will see. And when you can fortify it out, that is, if you know what you are looking for, because a lot of us doesn't even know what we are looking for. A lot of us doesn't even know who we are. Do you have that which you are looking for to give? I have love in my domain. That is why I'm looking for love, because I have it to give. Do you have love to be okay, love that love. You get that person comfort. It marriage material When I told the guy, it's so for your channel. Where should I put on you? Where should I join your mama? Young woman, but a girl at the rota. What I have to be a dolly, dolly, I don't bear because mm. when you want to get married, first of all, inside you, ask yourself, am I really ready? What do I even want? <laughs> what do I want in a man? Some ladies don't know what they want in a man. I'm ashamed. Do you know the truth? Ma, the truth here is some ladies want to leave their parents' house. They just want to yeah. go back to their parents' house. And leave it and because Elisa, Elisa, Elisa is leaving. Nikki, please wait for me. I, 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 will, I must go this year. Amen. Holy God, fire. I must I, leave this I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't even that, and the, the, that type of person. That Nikki. Uh, you are not, but a lot of them are. Uh, uh, See, Elisa don't leave. Elisa have left. You know, another so, thing that costs it too. Since Elisa have left, uh, Nikki will soon leave. Hmm. It will um, remind you. I'm so ashamed of myself. Competition. Age competition, don't be ashamed of anything. Yeah, personal competition. Keep on, moving. Keep on moving, you will make it and you will get to that thing you want. That is, those that are patiently waiting are those that know what they are seeking for. Can I say something, please? See, yeah, another time, too, is religion that causes this problem in times of people rushing to get married. A pastor will come up and say, Oh, um, I mean, if you want to get married. You see a lady of 15 years or 20 years, you could just rush, come out. I want to marry. You could say, I know that all of you are single women, you want to get married, and so on. No, it's, it's religion pressure. You understand? I've, I've gone to a church whereby a pastor once said, If you want to get married, please, the Lord is telling him to donate 10,000 10, naira each. If you want to get married, you need to see the way women they give 10,000. 10, 10, I'm not going to lie for you. Ladies, who, ladies, the, the person who use another way and not tell you, you know, there are some people they are not they are not supposed to be called pastors, they are supposed to be called showmen, businessmen. You understand? The man now said, yes. if you want to sow a seed of the kind of husband you want to marry in the future, come and sow a seed of ten thousand naira. Before you get to certain age, you'll be married. Now, when you don't get to that certain age, before you know, you will go to Shilo. You understand? Every year, don't you know that every year women are coming to Shilo? You need to see the numbers of women that will carry people's picture. In fact. They, you see, one woman will carry five different women will carry one man's picture and say, Lord, give me this one. Which one will God will give on her? He understand? It's too plenty. You see, okay, that's why it's okay, terrible. That one, that one, uh, nah, nah, did you know his future tomorrow? That's what ladies doesn't know. So, as a vibrant man that have a promising future, can they I, dead. They madam, dead. Madam, can I, can, I, can I tell you something, please? Yeah. Uh, I'm in my house now. You understand? And when most people visit me, 
And I tell them, this is my house. They'll say, it's a lie. They'll say, I don't believe. You understand? And let me tell you the truth. What you're saying is never wrong. I was in a position where I lost my both parents at a very younger age. Yes, they see me, they pass. They say, this one fine, but he don't get money. In fact, he didn't even get future. They tell me, I'm not getting future. <laughs> Someone can go find my future first. You know, I'm, I'm not a joke. Even a girl that was supposed to check me, the girl told me she loved okay. me. Is it okay, okay, okay. Now, now she get future. At the end of the day, <laughs> yeah. you, you, you are that? nobody. You are nobody. What, let, me, let me finish the thing now. They now said, this one never chop in the food. You understand? He never see food chop. Uh, not be often. What did he get? But today, when they enter my house like this one, they will look me where? Look me again. They say, my brother, now you are okay they do. I said, now only you are okay person go do. You understand? Because you know why? The days of rejection, I was building myself when they were rejecting me. I was building yeah. myself when they were never accepting me. I was building yeah. myself when nobody was believing in me. I was building myself when nobody was approving me. I took my time to build myself. Even one of these is when one come one time, I don't see. If you see, I don't like saying some things. That's why I said everything I have does not belong to me. I am you not understand? ready. I am not ready to 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 disclose a lot of things. When I'm ready, my YouTube is going to hear her. And when I'm ready, <laughs> my face is going to hear her. And when I'm ready, they are going to have series of parts. I get up to party 10. As in, as in, I get up to party 10. As in, anybody is <laughs> So when I'm done with it, it's stay tuned. I will finish piloting the script. I studied journalism. When I'm done with piloting of the script, I'll bring it, I will shoot. And when I shoot, hey, hey. We will be on my page for about a year, still trying to get this to the root. But do you know the truth now? Can I be honest because, with you, man? Uh, yeah. Today now, as I'm talking to you, eh? Now me, they see women. You know, there's some women from my street. I, I was discussing with somebody. I said, since I've been living in this street, I've never seen any fine girl. Oh, the person yeah. in shock. I said, all the places I've lived, I've never seen any fine girl. You understand? Not like I'm underrating anybody. You understand? But yeah. What are the big things I'm talking about? I'm not talking I'm not about having street. big boobs, having big it's because, ass. It's because I'm not living in your street. If I'm living in your street, you see fine girl. What are you talking about? Like, <laughs> you. Okay, let me tell you. Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me tell you what I check. Let me tell you what I check in fine. Beauty. Wait, Nikki, let me tell you what I check in beauty. Um, the truth is not about your boobs. It's not about your ass. It's not about those things. What do you have upstairs? What do you have inside of you? You understand? What do you have? What can you do with your hands? You understand? I look at, are you gifted? Are you talented? I, do you have something in your head? You don't need to have money. You understand? Because let me not lie for you. These days now, you see a lot of girls. Now they put on, sorry, Michael, I don't laugh. Ladies, promise me that you will not laugh. <laughs> These days now, you see a lot of girls. They put on push-up bra, pack everything up, full arm, like foam, full arm. Waka, food their back, waka. That is not what every man is looking for. You understand? The truth is, I, I always tell girls, you, eat you. I always tell girls this men go eat you, eat you, eat you, you will tire. You go tire. In fact, the thing not go to hungry the man again. You think they feel like nothing to the man again. You know, go to move the man. That is the truth because when familiarity has entered there, you know, they move the man again. No? It will only be moving the man once in the blue moon. But when you have something to offer to the man, your body will move the man, your knowledge will move the man, your skills will move the man, the way you talk will move the man. There are so many things that's going to move the man. And it's still vice versa too. There are so, I've seen guys who spend money in terms of buying fine clothes, having fine shoes. They look good. In fact, they look good, but they don't have future plans. They don't have any plans for their future. Yeah. Future, they don't get. Sure. You understand? Sure. Future, they don't have. You understand? So um, I'm at that stage of my life, but I follow people not because of how much they have. I follow people because of the amount of information that they have. And I follow people because they want to be able to learn and unlearn what they have learned. You see? Not be yeah. big breasts. Not be big ass. Those things will fade away. Beauty will fade away. Your knowledge, do you still have it? Will you still have it? So, um, uh, Nikki, thank you so much uh, for having us this night. I feel we need to have part two of this program. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, I think we need to because... Um, 
um you know today we all talk about the things that we all went through and things like that in as much as i didn't speak much yeah it's more of um australia well nikki wait first before i go first nikki before i go but you you make sense maybe correct baby no be joke you talk you find you fresh you suck like to do bread me and us have a full package that's why, that's why i'm not shaking i'm not in a haze <laughs> wait you're a full package that carry the porridge <laughs> I am a full package. Is the, the thing no, is but that not. the only issue we have is that sometimes, like myself, I don't know what I am. I don't know what I am. What I don't know if you understand this thing. Sometimes mm. we have to like belittle ourselves just to just to match with the person we are with. You understand that? Mm. Just to match, just to make things work out. We can't. We can't. We can't start. We can't start looking above. The person we are dealing with, so that in as much as we are doing that thing, we are still letting ourselves as in, we are making ourselves less than what we are, which is something I never discovered until of a recent that I'm like, you know, sometimes people tell me that people be like, Do you even know what you are? Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror? Have you do you even know the kind of the I don't look at myself that way, but when I start looking at myself that way, I'm like, come on now. Come on, it's not all about mm -hmm. yes. In this life, I know we all we need to, to be fair, no matter how much. Madam, Nikki, let me ask this, Madam, question. Madam, are you married now? Ah, this one, yes, this one is yes, Romeo yes. and Juliet. This oh, one is oh. Romeo. Yes, yes, yes. Juliet, I, have Romeo now. What I was saying, Madam, I because I found the because... love of my life. Yeah, she have Juliet oh. in her house. Oh, you don't find her. Please, you know why I ask that question? You know why I ask that question now? So that because no. you get when no complete this story, they only hear half story. So make them hear and complete. Make it not be less than half of the coin. You know, because they get when I go say, Nikki, can you help me with that lady's number? Let me have a number. Since then she's looking for love. Yeah, my name is Love. <laughs> then I go not some people don't change to love. You go shock you say men they answer love. You go shock you. You yeah. understand? No, I know what I'm asking, but thank God that you're fan love and thank God for everything that has happened yeah. to you. You see, you are, you are, like I always tell people, I said, you can do more than you expect. Life has to move you to the next level. I was discussing with some person, and I told the guy, I said, see, this year, this thief, the thief from people, you're not supposed to be the thief from people. Walk with you. And the guy told me that the reason why he's doing it is because his parents are poor. I told him one thing, I said, you have parents, you're not grateful. Me, I know get papa, I know get mama, but I know the thief, but I'm living well. Just because God decided to put every gift in me. You understand? So, the reason why you went through that thing is because it wants to build you. It wants to make you. They, somebody wants to sing song titled What Cannot Kill You Will Only Make You Stronger. Yeah. You yeah. understand? And I live by saying, What Cannot Kill You Will Make You Stronger. Thank you, madam. It's nice having you. I've been trying to pronounce this name. The only thing that keep on okay, coming to my mind is Okay, uh, that's, 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 that's a combination that's, 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 of my name. Hey, Nikki, please hold your peace. That is a combination of my name and my sweet husband's name. Okay, yes, he that, she, she, oh. she's a with love. She's a baby. Okay, okay. Nikki, I'm gonna find love Sunday. So Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. When I finally find the love, I will prepare you. I know. <laughs> Pepe de mu bola de pepe de mu pepe de bola de pepe de mu. That is what I'm saying. Eh? That is what I'm saying. Every woman has a compatibility somewhere. It's just for you to have patience, and you will find it. Can I? Can I be honest with you? Can I be honest with you? I don't. I don't. I don't do no my. I don't do no my love. My own love is Nikki. Nikki. I'm selling. I'm selling phone for love. Hundred million. If you want to buy love, I have it here. I, I, I have the form. Love, I cannot Come buy and buy the form. Love. It's hundred million. My heart, mm -hmm. my heart now is something else. I, I cannot buy it. I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Love is not even in my dictionary now. <laughs> no, no, no. It's gonna come. It's gonna come. It's a matter of time. It's a matter it, it of just time. Give it a time. And when it comes, <laughs> is it? You will tell, you come running back to me because I have a lady. I have a friend that something like this happened. She she uh, the, the, her own is that the first husband she married she had like four kids for the husband and the man died, so she Sorry. she she, she travelled and she have to have an, another man in her uh, in her life. The man is a Casanova. She never knew. At a point she have to find out, and when she find out, she have to leave that same marriage. When she left, she she told me that marriage is no longer in her dictionary. That love doesn't exist anywhere. That she wants to push her life just like that. And she's a very young, promising woman, very sweet lady. 
She's very cute and very lovely, beautiful, good heart, very churchish. When you talk of church people, okay, she have to stay. When I was like, I am in the peak of it all with this my marriage. I was so happy. I was like, she would tell me, mm, just uh, continue. Did you know that just last three months she have to come in boss and tell me it's like uh, I, 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 I'm just yeah, looking. Let that be let, falling. Let, I'm just let looking. Let falling. Just, wait, oh, let me not tell anybody. <laughs> she said I should not tell anybody, but she just she let her monitor this one way. After some months, she come back again and tell me it is it. Oh. <laughs> what I'm saying, it is it. Oh. This is what I want in life. And that is just it. If you don't give up until you find your match. Mm -hmm. I never give up on love for one day. I never give up on love. My heart was so open for it. Mother, I mother can it. I come in here? This Nikki need to sow Nikki. Nikki need to sow a seed. Otherwise, need to sow a this life you are looking at. Whatever you yearn for, you will get. You can never yearn for iPhone and get a Samsung. True, life. true. Whatever Don't you want desire. To, forward ever. Backward never. Don't mm. ever go. As in, mm. let, don't let the desire come down at all. Just mm. like I am. I want to travel all over the country. I like traveling. Mm. And I keep traveling. And there is nowhere there is my limit. I love it. Mm. So every day by day, I plan and I plan and I plan. And to go be the glory, I got somebody that flies like a butterfly. Yes, like her, her Facebook handle is the uh, Oshtonia family, just as the so on We so fly it, together. Uh, we fly together. We don't have any limit. We mm. love it. We, mm. we are, I want to No, go Mother, mother, mm. I want to, I want to, as I'm talking to you now, ma, as I'm talking to you, my spirit is telling me that Nikki needs to sow a seed. Nikki, needs to, <laughs> you need to sow a seed. Sow a when seed. I go, oh, when I go old, though. See, when I go old, my matter. I see my matter. Eh? Hi. <laughs> when I go old, my matter. Not be a wood, Now, yeah, we will be Nikki, uh, yeah. I have told you times without number, several times. Never say ever. Never, never say, say never. Ever. <laughs> me, never me. you say never. <laughs> because, old. because, hey. <laughs> because a marriage, you never know tomorrow, and you can never know tomorrow. You got to understand that HD me. Nobody knows tomorrow. Only can one, speak lepa. Maka confusion, my dema. Let's speak, let. Okay. Eh, not the truth, madam. Nikki needs to come and buy form. Nikki needs to come and buy the form of love. I sell it for hundred million. You need to buy form. If I see hundred million now, do you think I'll talk to any man again? I think our Nigerian government, our Nigerian government is selling form for presidential candidates for hundred million. Me, I'm selling form for love, hundred million. Please come and buy my own. Love, love, one walk for all today. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you for having me tonight. I'm very happy. Right. I can't wait for the part two. I know I will have another week on this now. Eh? I can't wait for the part two of this. So I can't wait for the part two. In conclusion, I never said it. Uh, in but I don't conclude though. Let's have part two. If you conclude, we will not have part two. This is Nigerian movie. We cannot give out everything we have. <laughs> Let us not give out everything. Let's give conclusion. <laughs> okay, okay. So we continue. Okay, so we have to leave it you to be continued. Yeah, because people, they need, they need to still come back again for this. <laughs> yes, let them come back for part two. <laughs> Let's go. Let's come back by then. He will do. He will. He will pray and see if the, if I'm going to find love. No, really. <laughs> All right. I think my bed is calling me, and um, yeah, I need to keep my husband warm. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. We know now. Why are you preparing us now? We don't have thank, any husband. Thank you, so <laughs> for with us. thank you so much for giving us an audience for loving this topic and for taking it all. <laughs> In your heart to be with us. We love you guys. We love you. It's you. <laughs> make sure you follow her page, okay? Please make sure yeah. you follow her page and give us a what, what's, what's, her, what's her page name? What's her page name? That's Oshtonia's family. Oshtonia. Yeah. See, when you are calling this name, you call it you as in you you are uh, as in you, you shape your mouth. Oshtonia. 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 O
Sorry, madam. Sorry, madam. Sorry, madam. Is there if I'm calling the name, I'm going to call it Australians? Is that what you're saying? Did you say I should call it Australians? Ochtonia. And please visit my YouTube channel. It's Ochtonia's family also. I'm going to do that. If you go to my YouTube channel, Bet me you are going to. Oh, no, no, no. Um, this um 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 uh, uh, Shania, this um also is um he's a graphic designer um and all those things. So okay, I do branding. Yeah. Okay. He's all okay. is um big anyway. Yeah, a big woman now. So let me not say. Like seriously, not, not, not like seriously, not for small, small okay. guests. Okay. Like, okay. 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 Yeah. I'm not a bit in your room. Chinna keke na delay. Yes. <laughs> Madam, 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 I'm gonna follow you up and please permit me to have your number from Nikki. Please, I'm going to have your number from Nikki. Please, I know, I know, I know. Anything you don't you want to tell me. You can tell me through Nikki, or you follow me on my page. You can talk there. I will listen to you. But so see, 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 I will see. You know, I want to pray for you. You know, that I want to pray. He doesn't joke with my number unless you want them to change me. I want my to pray. I want to pray. See, let me tell you the truth. As I'm as I'm talking to you now, I'm seeing there's a flower in your back. There's a flower okay. in your back. I can see the flower. Yes. Yes, there's a flower. <laughs> I can see light. There's light in your back. Yes. I can see I mean, all those fake prophet them. You, you Hallelujah. Eh. Madam, as I'm talking to you now, as you leave this show now, as you leave this show, as I'm talking to you now, the time is this is afternoon. This should be okay. about two to three p.m. in the afternoon. Eh. Am I am I in the spirit? Yeah, you are not. You are, in fact, you're a mugu because it's four o'clock. <laughs> 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 Nikki, as, Nikki, Nikki, as I'm talking to you now, you are wearing eyeglass and you are wearing a jacket. Some people on the comment section say they are looking for love. Go and pray for them to get love. Nikki, as I'm talking to you, they will not take no, light. No, no. Where both of you are now, they will not take light. You need the prayer so that you come out of insanity. You need the prayer. Fire it. Direct, direct the prayer. To who? Direct it. Hmm. If follow the prayer, I'm talking to you. Then you get it. Because it's what I need it. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am I am so excited to be here. Honestly, you ladies make my night. So much that I don't worry. I don't, don't worry. Don't worry. If, I don't I need, worry. If, I, if I need any of your assistance, I won't hesitate to take your number from no, no that. problem. No and, problem. No problem. And again, I if I want to talk to you, that means I'm gonna talk to you through his phone, my husband's phone. No, 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 it's not an issue. It's not an issue. Yes, so that he can coordinate it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. No problem. Thank you so much. I so, love uh, you guys. No, 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 no. You don't tell us thank you. You put to be continued. To okay, be continued. <laughs> to be continued. And again, again, uh, please, if you're here, just please go to my Australia's family page. Let me move my cap. Go to your oh, uh, YouTube. <laughs> you will find interesting videos. Okay? For those of you who want to travel, for those of you who want will to go you, to various countries, I am here to give you some advices on how to go about it. Best country to choose for you. Are you serious? Are you, uh, no, do you do that? Do you do that, actually? For you? Yeah. Yes, I help him. Uh, all, all kinds of visas. I give you advice. And Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. <laughs> Sorry, ma. I beg no best. Nikki, they owe me. I want travel. Go meet and my money. <laughs> you want travel? Go meet uh, Nikki. Collect your money. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so so, now. What I can allow, I, I be anyway of progress. Imagine, imagine that. Yeah. Imagine that he will enter flight of how much to come and collect. Yeah. Them now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, ladies. Right. I can't wait for the part two. God bless <laughs> you. Have a lovely night. We will, we will see okay, you please. Today, and if you love my page, please make sure you do a thumbs up. Just chat on that a profile or a picture so that I will recognize you, please. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah I love you guys. They will, follow you. they will follow you definitely. Okay, Nikki, so over to you. It's on your right. platform. I leave you. Yeah. All right, have a nice night. So, guys, <laughs> I know you put up, no, I don't enjoy and finish up. Who is laughing here? <laughs>
<laughs> Josephine Langoodness, where is God's time? Where is um, Fidelis? <laughs> I hope that I never sleep, sure. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being here today. And um, I really appreciate you all. For those that are here till this moment, I know it has been a very long one. And uh, we say thank you for being here. As uh, Desam said, we're going to be having this again. Okay, so it's all about we making out a day to fix it. And then we have the <clears throat> another episode on this. At least today we all talk about the stories and all that. But I mean... We, we just give instances and all that but next time we'll be telling you as an how you can have that confidence in actually doing what you have to do and not having that um that mind of what can i do it can i not do it and things like that so um christina thank you so much okay fidel is just here yeah so you guys thank you so much for being here today and um i hope you have a wonderful night rest and um that is it. Have a wonderful night rest and thank you for being here. I really appreciate you all. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your Saturday, okay? Because Friday is already finished. So, good night. And I love you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>